What was that? Oh, what's up, guys? What's up? Stop overspending today. Hey there, welcome back to Entertainment Overload. On today's episode, we'll be taking a look at some of the latest video games and awesome movie previews. I'm Sarah Harris. I'm Kayla Cumberbatch. I'm Francis Narrows. So don't go anywhere. We've got a lot to see on in another exciting edition of Entertainment, Entertainment Overload. Overload. Let's get started with today's first video game. Rise of the Ronin. Embark on an epic journey across a war-torn 19th century Japan in this combat-focused open-world RPG from Team Ninja, the veteran studio behind uh, no? and Ninja Gu Gaiden, Japan 1863. After three centuries of the <laughs> Tokugawa <laughs> Shogunate's reign, the black sh the black ships of the west descend upon the nation's borders and the country falls into a state of turmoil let's take a look it is said that time marches to the beat of a drum a fleeting moment can feel like a lifetime for those caught in its deadly rhythm and a lifetime can pass in the blink of an eye for anyone embracing its bitter end. The only thing we know for sure is that time marches forward. Even if we are apart, still we are one. Without hesitation, without remorse, the rhythm, then the river directs the flow. Let's do this, together. How many mountains must you move to alter the river below? Let us not forget the pain of Master Shoin and the countless others who have suffered. So that was Rise of the Ronin. What do you guys think? Um, it, it looked a lot like Ghost of Tsushima or... Like, or Sekiro. Yeah. I, okay, let's talk about the game first before you compare it to others. Yeah. I think it was... It looked kind of cool. I like the kind of art style. I wonder if they did, the you know, motion capture? Probably. What do you think, Brian? What do you think of it? <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, 
Okay, back to what we were talking about. So, I kind of already don't like it because it looks like Sekiro or um, Ghost of Tsushima. Right. It looks too close to it. And then, what did you say about the release of it earlier? I talked about the release. <laughs> All right. I thought you did. No, I did not. Um, but, like, there's a lot of um, similarities between, like, that and Ghost because there's different, like, stance options that you um, can do with it. I didn't see this stance options in B2. Wait, oh, I didn't see the stance options when I was looking at it, but it kind of looked um, like, I don't know, it reminded me of Demon Slayer. Oh, yeah. With the, with the fire, fire, sword. fire sword. Yeah, the fire yeah. sword. That was really cool. Um, are you guys excited for the bosses? Um, I have an opinion on it. It looks like a game that'll be on PlayStation Plus three months after release. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. And how do you feel about the PlayStation Plus games? Uh, they're games that usually pick up for one hour and then drop immediately. Fair. Is it like, um, I know they had another good game, like, later, like, beforehand. It was um, Death Stranding. Or That's Detroit Become Human. That was also a good one. Have you played that one? Yep. Have you played Detroit Become Human? No, I have not. You're lame. <laughs> Don't talk to me. Detroit Become Human is actually really, really good. Um, other than that, um, do you think the graphics are going to be good? Most likely. It kind of looks like a PC game. What do you think? So-so? <laughs> yeah, it's so-so. Okay. Um, well, other than that... Uh, um, right. So, our next preview is Imaginary Friends. After discovering, um, being able to see everyone's imaginary friends, a girl embarks on a journey to reunite those ifs with their lost children. She is the perfect fit, I promise. Did she even see you? She was about to. What are you doing? <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> no, no, no. Hi. Oh, God. This is just so exciting. What is happening? Well, that's a perfectly understandable question given numb. I'm an if. Get it? Imaginary? Friend? Our kids grew up. So we need new ones. You could save all of us. All of whom? And don't say ifs. Let him say it or I think his head may actually explode. Thank you. Are you ready for this? There's no telling who's behind that door today. We have to help them. Yes, we do. Again, put some pants on, you're freaking everyone out. Starting to see why I live alone. Cheat! What kind of a kid creates an invisible if? Don't, uh, don't, don't look him in the eye. Which one? You know damn well which one. Thanks for doing this. It really means a whole lot. Uh, so that was if. What would you guys think of it? It looks really cute to me. Mm -hmm. I personally like it. reminds me um, what is it? The Nickelodeon? Or is it Nickelodeon or Disney Junior? <laughs> what was it? Like the... Um... It was just like I don't know. It was just that show with the oh, you know the imaginary friends the, with the, the little, little blue, blue guy. guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Foster's <laughs> Home for Imaginary Friends. Yes, yeah. that's On what it kind of reminds Network. me of. Cartoon Network. It also reminds me of the was it? It was like a Hogwarts movie. 
with like Hogwarts the, it was like the dude Hogwarts Hogwarts something like that <laughs> but it was like the dude with the suitcase and he had fan, like, it's fantastic beast and where to find there you go there you yeah. go there you go my dad watched both of the movies I I didn't really like it really how come it just looked stupid <laughs> it looked dumb and then the main actor reminded me of my friend Tim so I didn't want to watch it oh uh, he okay. looked weird <laughs> he looked weird okay and that's all so um other than that I hope the music is good. Mm. Um, I, I'm personally excited for for Steve Carell's portrayance of Grimace in the film. <laughs> I'm really excited to see that. Really? Yeah. Why does it make you excited? Kind of want to me. Kind of want. Kind of made me want to buy a Big Mac. <laughs> okay. Or the Grimace shake? Okay. Well, the Grimace shake is gone. Well, yeah, but still. No. Yeah. That's you right. Read. It's Shamrock Shake season. <laughs> Everybody get your Shamrock shake so you still can. <laughs> Stop promoting other things on the show. <laughs> Um, okay, Caleb. What do you think? What do you think of the movie? Um, I I like it, like with the art style, but also like with the different like ifs. ifs? Yeah, the, it's basically just short for imaginary friends. That's, That's dumb. It, it's what they say in the. No. What do you mean no? no I, I don't <laughs> like that. Do you guys like the Cuphead rendition? The, cu- the, the cup Cuphead rendition. rendition. <laughs> when she was like talking to the girl. Yeah. I wonder like what's the premise? Are you just trying to collect all the imaginary friends you, or like Pokemon? Yeah. Kind of, but you're just bringing them back to like their kids. That why they run away? I don't because they, they grew up like bad kids. Okay, well if I grow up, why would I want my imaginary friend back? I don't know. I don't talk Maybe to they my want you back. <laughs> yeah. Did I you left them in Mexico. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, Entertainment Overload is bringing you all the latest previews and showings of the latest movies coming up soon. And later, we'll be taking a look at Dune Awakening. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back after this break on Entertainment Overload. Hey, kid. You can't see me, but that doesn't matter. Are you sad? Well, aren't you in luck? Introducing our newest product, the Happy Tune. The all new ecstatic flavors will have you go from sad to happy in a matter of seconds. The happy feel will only be available for a limited time, so call now to get yours before it's gone forever. The happy feel. Happiness, five dollars away. Do you need this? Yes, you do! Because now with Moody Macaroons, they come in many different mood flavors. Try our happy flavor that's guaranteed to improve your mood on a gloomy day. Or try our limited edition angry mood flavor that's sure to bring out the worst in you. Get Moody Macaroons now. Now available at convenience stores near you. Hey, good job with the race. I want you to try something. No, I don't smoke. No, just try it. Okay, fine. Nicotine can cause dizziness, lightheadedness, headaches, risk of blood clotting, and increased blood pressure, and shortness of breath. Nicotine will ruin your life. Don't vape, stay in shape. Nicotine ruins my life. Don't vape, stay in shape. All right, well, welcome back to Entertainment Overload. Next up is Dune Awakening. Rise from survival to dominance on the most dangerous planet in the universe. Dune Awakening combines grit and creativity of sandbox and survival games with the social, with the social interactivity of a large, persistent multiplayer game to create a unique and ambitious open-world survival MMO. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration.
So that was Dune Awakening. Mm. I really, really like it. Even though I haven't seen the movies, I really like how the graphics look so far. Mm. Even though it was just kind of like a teaser and announcement, it looks pretty promising. What do you guys think? Uh, I really hope the game comes with like a, a a collector's edition, so we can get our hands, our grubby little paws, on that on that on that Dune Two popcorn bucket. No, 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 no. no, no, no. We don't no. bring that up. Uh, I really want to get my I hands like on that, that for personal no. reasons, for a friend. No, stop. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. Um, how did did you guys ever watch the Dune movies? Uh, I watched the original one, and how then I, I don't really like the original. Why? Movie. Well, I don't know. The pacing of it back then, it was like really fast and it was very out of place. So Are we talking about the 20, 20? No, the one early. Oh. Early. Yeah, that one. So it it just wasn't it. How was but the most? Wasn't it. <laughs> how was doing part one? Have you seen that one? I, I like part one. Okay. Doing. How was the pacing on that one? It, it was way better. It was like at a steady pace compared to the original one. Okay. Mm. All right. That's good. Do you guys really know what Dune's premise is? Like I don't understand like sand people. Oh uh, uh, well, 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 I watched like about fourteen Watch Mojo videos on Dune, <laughs> okay. and I still don't know a single thing about it. It's something about spice and worms. So spice, spice it's like What's the that? um like the currency. It's like very valuable. Uh huh. Not ice. But <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. But yeah, so they mainly get spice from Arrakis, which is the desert planet. But um, are they on Arrakis? Yes. Okay. That, that's where they go. That's is it kind of like the oil oil mines and stuff? Kind of it's like drugs. that, but instead of... What? <laughs> it's drugs. That, that's basically what? what the spice is. The, the spice is the psychedelic. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically, yeah, but... Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, well, why? Why? Uh, I don't I don't know how Okay, well, spice. what's the premise of the first movie? Okay, premise of the first movie. Um, we have the Atreides family. They're, um, <laughs> they're on this water planet, right? But mm-hmm. they get sent by the emperor to go to Arrakis because there's another empire that was ruling it previously. Mm-hmm. Um, Are they going to like conquer it? Basically, but also to bring up spice production again because there was oh. a pause in it. Um, so they get to Arrakis, they go there. Um, it's basically a whole setup. The emperor actually set them up on that because there's a traitor among them. Uh-huh. And like a rat? Yeah. Yeah. Um, because there's like leverage on him with mm-hmm. um, the previous empire, but um, <coughs> so <laughs> so with that there was the um, big like ambush on the entire like yeah. family. Uh, the dad died. Um, he poisoned the entire room, but he missed the Baron. That's stupid. so it was kind of pointless. Oh, okay. um, so he died. Um, they end up in the desert. Aquaman dies later on. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> for the second movie, okay. Well, any comments, Brian? None at all. But you know what I do have to say? Our next preview is Indiana Jones <laughs> and the Great Circle. Indiana Jones will soon embark on his next big adventure starring a current generation video game. Originally teased in 2021 and fully unveiled about a month ago with a new trailer. The Great Circle is set in 1937 between Raiders of the Lost Ark and The Last Crusade. As nefarious forces loom to harness the power connected to the mysterious Great Circle, and that's where the man in the hat comes in? Why was that written? Let me tell you what you are missing, Dr. Jones. While you were playing your pointless game, I was playing you. You're wondering if maybe you should have built yourself a life of meaning instead of ending up here dead and forgotten in the sands of Africa. History. Just different ways to interpret the past. Thousands of years of humanity's thoughts and beliefs scattered and buried. Just waiting to be found. 
can't just run away from your problems, Indiana. Watch me. Throughout history, mankind has built sites of great spiritual significance. If you were to draw a line through these ancient sites around the globe, you get a perfectly aligned circle. I've had run-ins with these guys before. Trust me. It ain't a walk in the park. Okay, then. Let's see if you can keep up. What do you mean if I can keep up? <laughs> Patron of the fallen angels. Protector of the... Gulimani, the Great Circle. <laughs> you have any idea how old that was? Are you tired of waiting? for your order to arrive within days, well, TBG can fix that for you. Just tap, buy, grab, and you're ready to go. Start by visiting the official TBG website with only a $2 extra fee. Come on, come on, no! Have you ever been in this situation where your computer just randomly breaks on you? Well, I have the solution for you. The all-new compact computer appears just to be a retro keyboard. However, it is actually equipped with state-of-the-art holographic technology. Quickly, this great deal won't last. Can't wait to fight mean Germans. What? You know, they're, oh. they're particularly rude chaps. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> um, okay, so that was Indiana Jones. What yeah. do you guys think? Um, he looks nothing like Harrison Ford. I don't remember <laughs> what Harrison Ford looks like. You don't? I haven't seen the Indiana Jones movies. Or Star Wars? Is he Han Solo? Yes, he's oh, Han Solo. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I like the younger one. Okay. Yeah. The younger, <laughs> the younger, younger one? one. Um, he was like the actor, Moon Knight. Remember him? Mm. Yeah, Moon Knight. He's the actor oh, who, is, who plays um, Moon Knight. What's his name? Oscar Isaac. No. Uh, yeah. Wait. I think so. You're thinking of a different actor. I don't remember. You, that's a different actor. He was, he was like, also <laughs> in Star Wars. Yeah, he was. He was yeah. a guy who had yeah, the that, ball droid. Yeah, BB-8. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Poe Dameron. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's what I'm talking. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I had never seen any of the Indiana Jones movies. Okay. Have you guys? Uh, yeah, I just haven't seen um, The Dial of Destiny. I, I haven't seen that one. Mm. I didn't even know that was a I, I've seen Kingdom of the Crystal Skull uh, dubbed in Spanish on Telemundo oh. like six <laughs> years ago. So I, I think I've got a pretty good gist of Indiana Jones. Okay. <laughs> I kind of thought, was it Jungle Cruise? Jungle Cruise and Indiana Jungle Jones Cruise. were the same thing. Uh, they're, 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 they're similar. <laughs> they're, they're similar, but I don't, it's I don't about think the same thing. I don't yes, think they're the same. It kind of looks the same, you know? Jungle <laughs> Even though I haven't seen Jungle Cruise either. Or is it, yeah, is it the people on the boat? Yes. The, yeah. They're, they're going through the river and 
Yeah. 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 Okay. See, I got the gist of it. I, I can. Uh, I don't think that. I can spark like, notes it. And see what it's about. Um, other than that, what do you guys? Would you? Would you guys play the game? If I had an Xbox, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Would you? Boo Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, any last comments? Uh, nope. All right. All right. So. Our last preview is the Garfield movie. Yeah. Let's take a look at Garfield, who is about to go on a wild outdoor adventure. After an unexpected reunion with his long-lost father, the cat Vic, Garfield and Odie are forced to abandon their pampered life to join Vic in a hilarious high-stakes heist. <laughs> Name you Garfield. Let's get it. Good morning. We're gonna need the big scale. Does she need to announce it to the whole office? Say when. Never, John. Bury me in cheese. Mm -hmm. Life here is pretty near perfect. Little did I know. It was all about to collapse. Odie, I'm dreaming again. Slap me across the face. I think this is a case of mistaken identity. You must be looking for another gorgeous, lovable kitty cat. Big bag hunter with the ah. She got a big bag, drop it, drop it. Come on, Junior. You. Huh? This is Vic, my father. Welcome back, Victor. <gasps> Listen, I need your help. Get them! I haven't seen you for years, and when I do, you're on the run from a deranged cat. We need to toughen you up. Hey, I know tough, Vic. You've obviously never been in an olive garden that's run out of breadsticks. Follow my lead. Oh, cheddar. Probably one of my top 26 favorite cheeses. Mm. My orange tabby and my dog are both missing. Your call is very important. There are 1,046 people ahead of you. <gasps> Drop them now! We have to go save my dad. Oh, that cat's a goner. You think you can battle these villains on your own? If I don't make it back, tell my story. Hey, little mama, yeah, you heard about me. Ow, you heard about ow, me. Ow, Part of me ow, wants to help ow, him. Ow, no, ow, this ow, is how he learns. <laughs> You saw nothing. Uh, that was Garfield the movie. Right. What do you guys think? Um, I I really liked it. Um, we we have Snoop Dogg as a cat. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> instead of a dog. Isn't Samuel L. Jackson the dad? He, he yeah he's big. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they can they can bring in whatever celebrity <laughs> guest star they want to bring in, but nothing will ever top Garfield Two: A Tale of Two Kitties. Um, what? You know, when? that's probably arguably that the movie? yeah, probably arguably when? it's what? the second live action movie. It's it's, it's, it's really it was <laughs> really it good. Action? It was really good. That's why I, the I third there, one never oh, came out. Oh, there was. Oh, yeah, wait. there was. There was. I remember it very faintly. Mm -hmm. Is yeah, big. There, there was a big. British yeah. Garfield. Oh, okay. Yeah. Reminds me of like Paddington. Paddington. But yeah. Um, other than that, would you guys go watch it? Maybe. It kind of looks more of like a game rather than a movie. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I, I'm really excited for the Garfield Cinematic Universe. Oh my god. Or the Chris Pratt Cinematic Universe. I don't like that Chris Pratt's playing everything. It's annoying. It's a me. Mario. Mario. <laughs> uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. And remember, you can also check us out on, on the internet at odysseytv.com or .org. And we'll see you on the next Entertainment, Entertainment Overload. Overload.